for 35 bucks. I did not. It seemed like a cool concept for 35 bucks to get a whole entire computer that well, fits in the palm of your hand. That's pretty cool. $35 is well spent. I think it's really interesting that in this day and age, everyone uses computers so dependently and they have computers in their pockets and they carry them around with them everywhere. But not very many people know how they actually work. And if you give them a computer without a nice fancy user interface, then they really won't know what to do. And I think that's sort of amazing that we depend on them so much, yet so many people have no idea how they work. So I wouldn't like to be a part of that demographic. I'd like to know how they work and how to make them work better. I think it would be cool to learn how they actually work and not just click buttons and not know what's happening. Actually have a deeper understanding of why you're using it and how you're using it. So I wanted to make a computer, basically. I also wanted to learn more coding. Mine's going to be a home theater system that I'm going to connect to my TV. This PS1 emulator game, game emulator that I'm messing with. I'm doing an Arc Linux, in which case I need to download most of my GUI. As you can see, I'm just on command line prompt right now. But once I have it functional, there's a wide range of things I can do with it. Right now I'm torn between home automation, which is like making lights turn on and off with voice commands or putting it inside of an old notebook as a sort of a mobile toy. Just a lot of reasons. I have no idea. I just wanted to learn how to make a computer.